Six and a half hours and counting. That's how much time you have to get ready for the lobster mini season. It begins tonight at midnight, and you can bet hunters are getting ready to dive into this short but sweet season. Todd Dungan joins us now with his 5 o'clock fair. Todd? Christy and Dwight, melt the butter, baby. We're going to bag some bugs. You know, every year this time of year, well, most of the vacation time here at Channel 10 has already been called for. That's because it's mini season time, and if you're from South Florida or have lived here for any amount of time, you know that's a great time to get out on the water. Oh, there's a lobster. Once again, the madness of lobster mini season is upon us. At 12.01 tonight, a two-day bounty begins on bugs. Today, divers were busy filling tanks and buying dive gear. The pastime is so popular, every year there are plenty of mini season rookies ready to go. Just got certified last week, so this is basically what I got certified for, so real excited about it. There is some essential equipment you'll need, a net or snare, a measuring device and tickle stick, also a catch bag. Dive instructors say the best advice they can give is don't get carried away with the bug buzz. Obviously, you want to catch the lobsters, and that's really important. But remember to your safe dive practices. Check your air before you jump off the back of the boat. Go through your pre-dive safety checks. Make sure your gear is in good operating condition. Uh, and just be aware of boat traffic. I mean, everybody out there with a boat is going to be racing out there at 12.01 tonight. Um, to catch those lobsters and uh, keep things in perspective. I mean, they're just crawfish. Finally, Florida Game and Fish officers and other law enforcement will be out in force. Remember, it's your responsibility to know the rules. And here are some of those rules to live by. First of all, you must have a recreational saltwater license, and you have to have a crawfish stamp on top of that. You can buy them at any dive store, and in a moment I'll tell you another easy way to buy them. Also, if you live in Monroe County or if you go bugging down there, six lobsters per person per day, no more. The rest of Florida you, can, Florida, you can take 12 lobsters per person per day. That's Dade, Monroe, and Palm Beach County. Now, in Monroe County, there's no night diving. You have to go at first light. Also, remember, they are going to be out there measuring. They must be three inches in the carapace, uh, three inches or larger. That's from the tip of the lobster between the antenna back to where the shell ends before the tail starts, three inches or larger. And be sure to measure in the water. This is a good one here, because once you put it in the catch bag and on the boat, it could be an illegal short immediately, and if they board you, they will cite you for that. Also, don't get too wound up if you don't find enough of them. Regular season starts just a few days away on August 6th. Now, if you haven't gotten your license or your lobster stamp yet, here's a real easy way to do it. You can do it through a 1-800 number or on your computer right on the web. And uh, all you have to do is log on to our web channel at click10.com. We'll tell you how to do it. It's real easy. And then you can print your confirmation numbers right there on the computer. Be safe, have fun, and go out and get some bugs. Todd Tong in Channel 10 News. Or you could just do what Christy does, and you could buy some lobsters, <laughs> go right? To the, go to the fish store. That's what I do. <laughs>